Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. Kidneys for Kids is hitting the road again. Joining us this morning to tell us more, we have Brian Martindale. Brian, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me this morning. Of course. So just to get started, we've reported on your story before, of course, but for those who don't know, tell us a little bit about Kidneys for Kids. Well, Kidneys for Kids, start, we founded Kidneys for Kids in 2022 to advocate nationally for children who need kidney transplants, as well as providing financial assistance to families um, for cost of their child's treatment not covered by insurance. So um, in 2022, I started formally uh, a national trip we call now Driving for Life. Mm -hmm. So I'll begin uh, the 2024 trip on Monday. Um, the idea of this trip is I travel to major cities this year, 23 cities in 22 states. Wow. And we carry out a TV interview in those cities with a family, with a child who needs a kidney transplant um, in order to get exposure for them and their story told and hopefully recruit a living kidney donor for that child. Uh, on the average, we have to reach 50,000 people to mm -hmm. find one living kidney donor, whether it, it be for an adult or a child. So doing this trip and advocating this manner uh, last year um, has produced a total, in the last 15 months, as say, has produced a total of 11 different kidney donors for 11 mm -hmm. different children. And our goal is 100 different kidney donors for 100 different kids. That's awesome. And you're raising awareness for more donors throughout that as well. The tour you mentioned on the West Coast begins in June. The East Coast tour begins in July. What are some of the major cities we can expect you to hit? Um, I'm hitting uh, in this leg uh, the end of next week Denver Colorado okay. and then to Los Angeles San Diego Phoenix Houston um, back up to St. Louis Indianapolis finishing in Chicago and then in July we go all the way down to Florida to uh, Tampa back up the East Coast to Washington DC Philadelphia and then finishing in New York City with what we hope is a major interview. So exciting, Brian, that is awesome. And you'll be driving the Garber Chevrolet Equinox. We have a live look at that right now. Take a look at that. Brian, you've been doing these trips for years now. What would you say has been your biggest takeaway so far? My biggest takeaway is, is meeting families, parents uh, with a child going through a uh, fight with kidney disease. Some of these children are as young as two. And adults can't fathom sometimes that their full-size kidney can be donated mm. to a child as young as two and save their life. And I've seen what parents go through having children with dialysis at home, having to have dialysis 10 hours a day, seven nights a week. And, you know, one parent sleeping while one parent's attending to the child. Right. And this is a, you know, 365-day-a-year mission that they have to save their child's life until transplant. So uh, the biggest takeaway is, is, is seeing adults come forward like they have and, you know, saving these children's lives and realizing they can live a, a healthy life like I do with one kidney and, and, uh, and like I say, save a life. Well, as you mentioned to me before we got started, testing yourself to see if you're a match has really never been easier. You brought some of those kits to show us. Yes. Can you talk about that a little bit? Well, we're working now with Kidneys for Communities. Kidneys for Communities based, is based in Ohio, and they help do the matching uh, for adults and children, um, cross-matching uh, to find out if uh, an adult, in this case, is viable to donate to a child. And now it's as easy as us sending you a HLA testing kit, which is a swap kit um, like it's used for bone marrow testing mm -hmm. you can just as easily swab now um, and we can do the initial matching without any obligation and um, under you know autonomy until you decide to become a living kidney donor but it's easy, easy as just registering through kidneysforkids.org or kidneysforcommunities.org and we'll do the initial uh, cross matching and get you this kit right away and uh, you can save a child's life even if you live here you saw a story coming out of Los Angeles. You can donate in a paired donation, receive a voucher, give that voucher to the family you want to help for that child, and that child will receive the next kidney that matches them mm. wherever they're at. What other ways can people show their support for Kidneys for Kids? Well, the Driving for Life mission, uh, we need uh, sponsorship, of course. You can mm -hmm. see sponsors on the Garber Chevrolet that uh, Mr. Garber, again, was kind enough to provide for Kidneys for Kids this year. But we've got room for more sponsors, and sponsors are getting exposure nationally. Mm -hmm. um, they, this vehicle will appear in a lot of the TV um, uh, interviews we'll be doing. Right. And then again, back here in Michigan, I'll be driving it the rest of the year. So local sponsors will get exposure 
you can see we have the hood open and many yep. other areas uh, that aren't decorated by our main sponsors. We got to give big thanks to Bubba and Tri-City Cycles again this year for their sponsorship. The International Painters Union, which I'm a member of, and my union brothers and sisters are watching. Please, you can donate at kidneysforkids.org, a tax deductible donation, and it's sending this trip across the United States to save children's lives. Well, that car is all decked out, but yeah, definitely some room on that car for more sponsors as Absolutely. well. Well, Brian, thank you again so much for being here and telling us more about Kidneys for Kids. If you would like to learn more, you can find more information in the hot link section of our website. Just visit WNEM.com.